Now, this school shooting has a lot of parents on alert. They're demanding answers on what's being done to keep their kids safe. CBS 2's Randy Page is live in the Westlake District with a look at the issue of school security and what more could be done. Randy. Pat, let's begin with this most recent shooting up in the second floor here in the school. Think about the elements for a moment. A backpack, a gun inside a backpack that goes off accidentally. It's not the first time this has happened, and these concerns about safety have been going around this district for more than 25 years. A single bullet, which tore into two students and sent shrapnel into two more, is sending a warning shot through the city as parents ask, how could this have happened? Well, consider this. It was not the first time. The gun accidentally went off inside the teenage suspect's backpack. 25 years ago, in January of 1993, a handgun inside a student's backpack accidentally discharged at Fairfax High School, killing 15-year-old Demetrius Rice and wounding a classmate. And it hit him. Demetrius as he turned in his uh, homework. David Tukovsky was a teacher at Fairfax at the time. He later was elected to the school board and is now a strategist for associate administrators of Los Angeles. It seems like the board president and vice president ought to be taking this window of opportunity. Tukovsky says it's time for LA Unified to put more resources into school security, including more police officers outward-facing security cameras, software to monitor social media, and more staff to conduct random searches using wands to detect weapons, as seen in this LAUSD training video. Most objects are found in pockets. Evil's going to hit our schools, but do we have the right resources? Detective Rudy Perez is vice president of the union, which represents LA Unified School Police. He says over the past two years, 23 handguns and eight rifles were seized in and around school campuses. Detective Perez was one of the first officers to arrive inside the classroom after yesterday's shooting. I've even been in an ambulance where you realize that a kid's life is in danger and the fact that we could have stopped it and yet we have too much um, bureaucracy to deal with. Now, it's worth noting not everyone agrees with this notion of random searches. In fact, just today, there was a meeting with representatives of the union representing teachers at LA Unified, UTLA, and members of Black Lives Matter, those two groups working together, uh, t talking to members of the, the school police chief uh, and others. They are concerned about random searches and would like to see them stop. So there's not a lot of consensus necessarily on this issue, but one thing everyone does agree, and that is these kids need to be safe.